from goal line heartbreak to 28-3 to wide right. These are the most devastating losses in Super Bowl history. Number 10, the 1988 Bengals in Super Bowl 23. The closest this franchise has been to a Lombardi trophy. Up 16 to 13 with three minutes and 10 seconds left. Cincinnati simply left too much time for Joe Montana. On first down, Montana to Rice again. Montana to Rice, he's in the clear. They have a tight formation. They bring Rice in motion to the near side. Montana's going to go back and throw into the end zone. A touchdown to Bader. Oh, my. 34 seconds away from Let's rewind 20 years from number nine. It's one of the biggest upsets in sports history and has come to be known as the guarantee. Jets and Colts in Super Bowl III. Baltimore was a powerhouse in 1968 and came into the game as overwhelming favorites, double digits in fact. But Don Shula's team couldn't get out of its own way. Morrow's gonna throw and it is intercepted. Morrow. Plant intercepted, that's the second interception for him. Here's Unitas, and it is intercepted. Jets quarterback Joe Namath delivered on his guarantee, proving the AFL underdogs could hang with the big boys of the NFL. Okay, number eight. Brady's first and the beginning of the end of the greatest show on turf. The St. Louis Rams went 14 and two in 2001, boasting the number one offense in the league. But in came defensive mastermind Bill Belichick with the perfect game plan. Picked off. Ty Long down the sidelines. Touchdown. The Rams didn't get it going until the fourth quarter. But boy, did they wake up. Warner lost it. And Ricky Pro is going to score. With the game tied at 17 and a little over a minute on the clock, the world was introduced to Tom Brady. And now with no time. You have to just run the clock out. You have to play for overtime. Tom Brady, overrated. They have no timeouts left. Brady again throws. That's the Redmond again. Here's Brady again. Out the middle of the clock. And it's Troy Brown. Here comes the blitz. And here's Brady. He dumps it to Wiggins. Here comes one of greater importance. And he makes it. And it's right down the pipe. No time on the clock. The Patriots have won Super Bowl 36. Unbelievable. All right, let's go to number seven. The star power in Super Bowl 13 could fill an entire block in Canton. Between players, coaches, owners, and front office personnel, this game featured 19 Hall of Famers. The battle for the team of the 70s went back and forth until one of the biggest drops in Super Bowl history. Roger, back to throw, has a man open in the end zone, caught, touchdown, drop, dropped in the end zone, Jackie Smith all by himself. Jackie Smith's drop turned the tide of the entire game. It may be all over, Bradshaw will throw, fakes and goes across the middle deep, Swan is open, caught, touchdown. Cowboys quarterback Roger Staubach almost brought his team back, but it was too little, too late, as Pittsburgh won its third Super Bowl of the decade. Coming in at number six, the Vikings teams that couldn't quite get over the hump. Minnesota made four Super Bowls between 1969 and 1976. Kansas City matriculated all the way to a win in Super Bowl IV. Miami's ground and pound offense derailed Bud Grant's squad in Super Bowl VIII. And in the following season, Pittsburgh's steel curtain held Fran Tarkenton in check. And old man Willie Brown put the nail in the coffin in Super Bowl XI. Packed up! It's gonna be a touchdown! Willie Brown! All right, at number five, Super Bowl 34. The Rams are on the winning end of this one. Tennessee needed a miracle in the wild card round to get to this point, but then they needed another miracle from quarterback Steve McNair on the Super Bowl's final drive. McNair stepping up. Uh oh, we got him, we got him. Rolling, needs help, stays on his feet somehow, throws, 11 yard line is caught, first down. They save their timeout, they have it here, they stop the clock. The Titans look like the team of destiny, if for one more yard. Dyson comes in motion, now resettles. McNair drops, throws right side for Dyson. He dives for the end zone. Didn't make it. He came up one yard short. The Rams win by a yard. 
All right, number four, 18 and one. Super Bowl 42 between the Giants and Patriots wasn't supposed to be close. League MVP Tom Brady led the Pats on a path of destruction, throwing 50 touchdown passes, 23 of which went to Randy Moss. But just when it looked like New England had their perfect season, the unthinkable happened. Back to throw, the rush, gonna be hit, gonna be sacked. No, no, he got out of it. Now he fires downfield, and it is caught, caught. And how in the world did he do that? Manning awaiting the shotgun snap, he's got it. He's looking for Burris in the end zone, he's wide open, touchdown. The Patriots will not be perfect. They were for 18 games, but not the 19. Okay, Super Bowl 25. That's our third choice, and it could be higher. Giants and Bills in an all-time classic. New York's defensive coordinator, Bill Belichick, focused on neutralizing Buffalo's K-gun pass attack. So, of course, Bill's running back, Thurman Thomas, went off. Here's Kelly shotgunning, a running play. Thurman Thomas breaks it at the 25, still on his feet at the 20, gets down to the 15, the 10, the 5, and scores! Thurman Thomas! While Thomas gained nearly 200 yards from scrimmage, it was New York's ground game that set the tone all night. The Giants held the ball for more than 40 minutes. Down 20 to 19 with two minutes left, Buffalo had one last chance. Bills have not converted a third down in the game until now, thanks to Thomas, Thurman Thomas. No pass rush at all. That's unbelievable. All day and half of the night, and he's going to run with it. Here's Thurman Thomas swinging to the outside. Has the first down. Thurman Thomas takes it to the 30. Here we go. The Super Bowl will ride on the right foot of Norwood. Puts it down on the way. It's long enough, and it is no good. He missed it to the right. Scott Norwood missed a 47-yard field goal that would have won the Super Bowl for the Bills. Knowing what we know now about this Bills team that lost three more Super Bowls in consecutive seasons, it's really hard to choose two more devastating losses. But we did. Dives and falls into the end zone. He caught it! Touchdown Atlanta! Intercepted! My goodness. Falcons 28, New England 3. Yeah, you knew this had to be on the list. It's the greatest comeback in Super Bowl history, or the greatest collapse in Super Bowl history. The 2016 Patriots faced a 25-point deficit midway through the third quarter. And up to that point, we'd never seen New England so thoroughly dominated in a Super Bowl. I'm really sorry about this, Falcons fans. Pass is caught. That's White. Touchdown. New England trying to get there. Matt, and as he throws, it's loose. And New England says they have it, and they do. Brady, end zone touchdown. Brady shoots it down the middle, batted in the air. Edelman somehow hook caught it. Get. And off, touchdown, James White. Tom takes the step, quick throw to Amendola, screen left, reaches across the goal Is line it? for a score. 11.08 to go in the first overtime, they'll toss it to White. White will cut back, and he will get in. Touchdown, New England. The Falcons led 28 to three, and New England storms back. Number one, you won't find a more crushing way to lose. The Seahawks were looking to go back to back while the Patriots had waited 10 years for a Lombardi trophy. Super Bowl 49 was a great game. One of the best Super Bowls ever. Tom Brady's fourth touchdown pass gave New England a 28 to 24 lead with just two minutes to go. Then came the most shocking finish in Super Bowl history. Four-man rush this time. Russell's gonna lay it up over the top this time. Curse reaching up, ball slam. He, he had caught it! It fell into his arms at the five-yard line! Are you kidding me? Now you have to stop, Marshawn Lynch. Here he goes, beast mode! Clock still moving, down to 36. Second down and goal from the one. Shifts Baldwin over to the left side. Lynch in the backfield, Russell looks, throws inside. Oh my God, it's picked off at the goal line. Oh no! Oh my word, with 20 seconds left. You are on the one yard line, and you have number 24. Are you kidding me? Just a shot to the heart of every Seahawks fan. 